the next thing you can do to try to promote restful sleep and good naps in your newborn is uh, to try to do a mini routine for each nap. This doesn't need to be an elaborate production. The routine can simply be, it could be as simple as swaddling the baby and uh, singing it a little song, a little ditty, or saying uh, a few words in a sing-along type voice about how it's time to sleep, my love, and you know, uh, saying something about how it's time to sleep. Not that they can understand the word sleep, but it's never too early to introduce it. You know, over time, the more they hear it, they still won't know what it means, but they'll know that when they hear that sound, that utterance, they'll begin to associate it with nap times, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, I think what I remember our doing in our household was, you know, we would swaddle him, uh, we would close the blinds in the house and, and turn off the lights, even if it's daytime, just to darken the house a little bit, at least in the living room where his bassinet was, and just to kind of um, set the mood, you know, create conditions that would later make more sense to him when the baby is able to distinguish between day and night, <clears throat> which, you know, they'll, they'll begin to do after the first month, four to six weeks is when their day-night organization kind of falls into place. Uh, but even in the beginning, you know, when they see those kind of optic changes or sense them or perceive them in some way, and when they hear you whispering or singing in their ear a short little lullaby about how it's time to sleep, you know, these are all like, you know, kind of, it's just a mini routine. And uh, consistency is the key. It's just by doing the same thing over and over every single time, more or less in the same way, in the same order, um, it uh, helps your baby understand what to expect next and what is supposed to happen next. And then you allow just their own internal natural biological rhythms and their natural biological need for sleep to take over. And it'll help promote good naps that way. Uh, whatever your mini routine is, you know, keep it brief, obviously, in the first month, in this first trimester that we're talking about because their wake times are so abbreviated. Um, you know, but uh, think about what you want to do and just do it.